Um, well, hello. I am a patient here at the Center for New Medicine. Um, I've been a patient of Dr. Bita and Dr. Bales here um, since earlier this year. I live in Los Angeles and I initially came here to seek treatment for um, a series of conditions that I was suffering from, autoimmune related um, Hashimoto's, hypothyroidism, Epstein-Barr virus, uh, malabsorption of my food, maldigestion of my food, insomnia, um, anxiety, hair loss, just like a whole soup of conditions that um, my conventional doctors were not able to identify the reasons for and the sources of what was actually going on with me. Um, some of these symptoms started for me almost 10 years ago and I've been seeing conventional doctor after con conventional doctor um, taking blood tests after blood tests and everything showing up as normal in the um, average range of the, the tests. And so I was essentially told that I'm one of the healthiest people that they'd ever met and that most of it was in my mind and I should go see a psychologist because I might be just imagining it. And I was so desperate for help that I truly um, took them up on that, went and saw a psychologist thinking that maybe it's all psychosomatic and it's in my mind and and psychology therapy can have its own benefits but it certainly didn't help alleviate any of my symptoms. In fact, my symptoms kept getting worse and worse and I knew that because I started to develop insomnia which I've never had in my life and then I started to develop really serious bloating where I Anything I would eat or drink would immediately puff my body out as if I was maybe seven months pregnant. So I started to feel a lot of insecurities around what I could wear and where I could go because I felt like I just wasn't comfortable in my body. And just getting more and more sick, not being able to get out of bed and having extreme fatigue. So then um, I heard about the Center for New Medicine through a few friends and family members who were um, receiving treatment for cancer. And I learned that there is a preventative uh, care department section of the center. So I thought, well, hey, you know, I've tried everything. I might as well try this. And when I came here and I saw Dr. Bita, she uh, reviewed my test results and recommended some further testing that was not what I had done before. And one of those tests was the F scan that I did with Dr. Bales, where he used this technology that um, measures and reads the frequencies of the different microbes in the body and is able to identify different organisms based on their very specific frequency. He was very helpful in explaining how it works and how the technology was developed because I have a very curious mind and I like to understand what's going on. And so in that test, um, Dr. Bales you know, printed it out and we were able to see that I have a series of parasites going on, particularly um, a liver fluke. Uh, parasite and some other ones that weren't as dominant and so um, the recommendation was to do the firefly treatment which Dr. Bales has developed from my understanding with his father based on the principles of engineering applied to the biology of the human body and so we did this treatment and it's um, basically like a scanner in the grocery store that scans your food, except it's emitting light um, that has been programmed to a very specific fre frequency matching whatever showed up on the test that we wanted to target. In this case, the liver parasite. And so he uh, used a treatment on me where he scanned my entire abdomen with, with the scanner for about 10 minutes and it was a very simple procedure. It was very easy and quick and no discomfort. It was just a little bit of heat, which actually felt really good. And so, and he said, that's it. That's what we need to do. You can go home now and you know, let me know if anything changes or happens. And to be honest, I was very skeptical because I didn't think that 10 minutes of this light treatment was somehow help this chronic condition that I've been stru struggling with and suffering from for years and years. And so I, I left the center and as I was driving home, um, 
I started to already feel movement going on in my abdomen, kind of like gurgling, but more, there was just like things moving around. Different from when you're hungry and your stomach is gurgling. It was just like, whoa, things moving and I could feel it. And I, that was a new sensation. I hadn't experienced that before. And I went home and didn't really think much more of it and continued the protocol that Dr. Bita had prescribed for me with the supplements and the different, um, just different procedures and that she had recommended. And about um, the fourth day after I'd received the firefly treatment from Dr. Uh, Bales, I had the urge to go to the bathroom like I normally would. Um, I was going for number two and just cause just puttering around my house, puttering around my house and going to the bathroom. And then as I was done, I thought I'd gone number two. I kind of had gotten custom to um, looking into the toilet bowl just to kind of check for stuff that's coming out because I'm getting to understand my stool and how it relates to what I've eaten and what I'm digesting and what I'm passing through to get a sense of different food allergies, for example, that I might be having. And so I just kind of casually looked over and what I saw in the, in the toilet bowl to my absolute shock and terror and relief and confusion all at once was there was no feces in there, um, no biomatter of that kind. There was no urine in there. The only thing that had come out of me that felt like regular stool was a circa three, maybe four foot long worm that was light green and had just like coiled itself into water in the toilet bowl. And I was horrified when I saw this because it's very shocking and I wasn't expecting it. And, and, and sort of like didn't know what to do and uh, called up a, a really dear girlfriend who's familiar with parasite cleanses. And she recommended that, um, that I breathe <laughs> and be happy because I had just passed a huge problem through me that had I had A, killed it successfully and B, able to flush it out of my body successfully in pretty much one go. And so she recommended that I get some chopsticks and, and, and fish it out and put it on a paper towel And so I did that um, and uh, was able to document it. I took photos and videos of it so that I could share it with my doctors and my health practitioners because I, I didn't know what it was and it wasn't food and it wasn't um, a, an organ or part of my body that came out. It definitely was a worm that was a parasitic worm. And um, so as I was processing the shock and the terror, terror and, but also the relief and the sense of like liberation and freedom for the first time in, you know, almost a decade of struggling in my body, I felt like something that was like keeping me really sick was gone. And I cried, I had an emotional release that was just so amazing and That happened about a week ago, just over a week ago, not long ago. And I can, I don't know if you can tell, but I am currently not bloated any more than, you know, whatever abs I need to work on. Um, but the bloat is 100% gone, which is a miracle as far as I'm concerned. I, 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 I cannot believe it. And the bloat is gone. I've lost... 10 pounds when I came here and I weighed myself I was 220 uh, 128 pounds and when I came back and weighed myself I was 19 pounds with my clothes on so that's almost 10 pounds of bloat that just vanished since this worm came out of me I am sleeping through the night like a rock I won't say a baby because babies wake up like a rock sleep through the night, solid eight, nine hours. I feel completely mentally clear for the first time in years. I can think, I can focus, I can concentrate, I can remember things. Um, I'm not feeling sluggish. I feel like I can wake up early and go work out and 
do my practices and do my work, get my work done and tend to my relationships. Like I couldn't before. I was just hiding under the covers and hoping the day would just pass and just kept sleeping because I couldn't, I just couldn't get on with my day and that's all gone. And I feel like I can re-engage with my work and my career in a whole new way. I'm feeling really inspired, but above all, I'm feeling free. I'm feeling emotionally free of a burden and a, and a stress that was completely sucking my life force away from me and realizing that all of my complaints, all of those years, all of the symptoms were real. They were not a figment of my imagination. They were not psychosomatic. You know, they were real. And the, who knows how long this worm, this parasite had been living inside of me. It could have been years and years and years. And who knows what havoc it had been wreaking on all my organs, which paved the way for all the other autoimmune disease related symptoms that I was struggling with. And so who knows all of this, but I just truly feel like I am emotionally liberated and I'm able to really reclaim my, you know, right to feel healthy. And I truly attribute this to the diagnosis and the treatment that Dr. Bales and Dr. Bita were able to pinpoint when I went to visit them because I see, I've seen many functional medicine doctors, homeopathic doctors, naturopathic doctors, allopathic doctors, chiropractic doctors, you name it. I did my homework to get to the bottom of this. And finally, this device, this technology is able to read the frequencies of what's going on in our, in our, in our bodies and target it in an extremely effective way, one treatment. So today I came back, um, it's been just about over a week because I've been really excited um, to retest myself through the F scan to compare notes. Um, and I actually have my notes here um, and I can compare the list. I'm actually happy to share with you the list, thank you, here with my previous F scan, which had a lot more of these parasites on there. One of them being the liver fluke. I had the egg, the adults and the larva in there. And then we retested it today. Um, and all of those are gone. All of those frequencies are completely gone. There are less parasites and um, microbes in my body than, than this one shows. There's less of them. And the ones that are here are mostly related to the common cold that's going around and the flu that's going around, E. coli, which is sort of like we all have it, and the Epstein-Barr virus, which I know I have antibodies for. So there's actually no parasites that are showing up on my F scan. Zero, nil, zero parasites. I'm just over the moon excited. This is just like the proof is in the pudding. It's truly real. This is like scientifically proven now. I am a living evidence of um, the fact that functional medicine and, and treating parasites as the root cause of all these other symptoms is it, it works and it's, and it, it's very effective. So. You know, just sharing this um, out of a desire to inspire and help whoever else is struggling with similar symptoms and wanting to receive help where it might feel hopeless and helpless and truly feeling like we looking at the um, these micro microbes in our bodies is is a, a powerful place to start our healing path. So um, that's that's what I felt like sharing today. Thank you so much.